So for this video, I'm using the roach clips. Um, I'll have uh, the list of everything that I'm using in the description for this video. And these are the colors that I'm going to be using for this clip. They, we call them roach clips, but they're picture clips. Um, if you don't know what roach clips are, I suggest you ask a friend. <laughs> <laughs> but um these yeah I got the it's they're called alligator clips on Amazon so first we're gonna string up seven beads because that's what the alligator clips take you're not gonna get a play-by-play -play picture of this project I apologize and I do not sell any type of patterns online that's because most of the stuff that I think of, I think of in my head. It's not actually drawn out unless it's flat peyote stitch work. So we're going to go ahead and just add this on. And I like to go, I guess you could say clockwise. Because I go this way with my beadwork. All I'm doing is i am got it stringed up to the knot. And then I'm going to go and put my needle through the last bead going into a circle. So we're going in with bead number one. So what I'm doing is I'm, I've am i got it so that I'm skipping a bead. So you can see where I came through the one bead and I'm skipping a bead and going into the next. All right, we're gonna skip another bead. We're skipping a bead and going into the next one. Again, I did seven beads around odd count tubular stitch. The reason why I like odd count tubular stitch so much is because it just continuously goes around. Grabbing another orange bead. Now we're just adding on to the background and I'm going to be doing three rows of orange going down so basically I did one I'm working on the second row right now you can see it row one row two we're gonna do three rows of orange We are done two rows. Now we are working on the third row. And it's going to be moving around on the work. If you don't like it to move around, you can add a thin layer of interfacing on it or some people use I believe it's like hockey stick tape again we are working on the third row and then I'll be moving into some color All right, we are done the three rows of the background color. Now we are gonna start in with our first row of color.
right we are on to the second color Oh, we have moved into the third color. All right, we are moving into our fourth color. Now we are moving into our fifth color and our last color. So this is what I like to call a color blend because we are blending the color blue between black and white. All right, now we're gonna go into the background color, one row. Now we are going to mirror what we just did here, going this way. So we'll go into a row for white. Next color, the very pale blue. Moving on to the next shade of blue. On to the royal blue. Now we are on to the black. All 
All right, now we're gonna go into two rows of the orange, the background color. Okay, now we're done two rows of the background and we're just gonna replicate this one down here and it's just gonna continue on. All right, I need to put a little bit of nail glue down. So I put, I apply about three times, I'd say. So I put on the first coat and I let it dry just a little bit because this dries fast. And it just kind of like thickens up. And then I put on the second coat So then I just line everything up. The knot goes underneath the alligator clip. This is the top of the clip. This is underneath the clip. See where the knot is? It's in lining up with this hole on the alligator clip. So I let that dry for a couple seconds. And then I just take the nail polish glue and I just start adding a little bit around the edges. Okay, and then I just let it dry. All right, I think it's been long enough. Like we're gonna continue this part all the way down.
All right, we are at the tail end of this roach clip. Like literally I have like this much thread to work with. So let's go ahead. Um, so I put in the last bead. Now I'm going to go through the next bead. I'm not adding any beads on right now. And then we're gonna go ahead and go through this next bead. And we're just going to go ahead and stitch everything together. So you can see that there's like three beads sticking out on top here. I just went through one of them. I'm going to go through the second one that's sticking out. And the third one that's sticking out. And then I'm going to go through the next bead beside that one and I'm going to I'm going to tie a knot. So this is gonna be slightly difficult because it's just a small small piece of thread but I do this almost all the time so just have some patience with me here. <laughs> it's gonna get blurry in and out. We did it three times. Now we're gonna shove the needle through an open spot in the work so that we're kind of tucking the knot inside the work. I mean, you're not gonna fully get it hidden in the work, but we can do our best. And then you're just going to cut that off And use a pin to tuck everything in as best as you can. All right. And that, my friends, is a picture clip, alligator clip. Let's zoom out a bit. Picture clip, add alligator clip. Um, let's give you a little reference in size. So this is an inch on my ruler. And we're looking at about, the alligator clip itself is about six inches, but the beaded part is about Four, just over four inches and I really like working with these they're small they're fast and you can do a lot of cute little designs with it so thank you all so much for watching I um, apologize for the blurriness and the in and out I do do my best to make sure my camera is focusing but I'm beating at the same time in tight quarters so <laughs> Thank you all for your patience and I will see you all again soon.